These are two of the quietest keyboards ever. If this is what a normal keyboard sounds like, these keyboards are nearly 10 times quieter. They barely make a sound at all. These keyboards are perfect because Jake has been staying up late playing games and all I hear is his keyboard when I just want to go to sleep. I need to sleep and you haven't been letting me. It's your dang keyboard. It's too loud. You know what's too loud? You're snoring. I don't snore. Snoring sound test? It's right here. I'll fix you up a nice keyboard that's quiet and will let me have a good night's sleep for once. What if I could build one quieter than you? Why would you do that when you get free keyboard? Because I have a keyboard right here. Me too! And it's gonna be so quiet you won't hear a thing. Okay, well I'm gonna do it better. Whoever has a quieter keyboard gets to choose dinner. Mmm. Alright, let's get this started. So far, I've got I've got uh, two supplies. I've got switches, and I've got keycaps, and that's about it. I'm gonna open up the keyboard first and then go and check the supplies and see what we need. Switches and my special weapon. Bones. Let's choose our keycaps. Got lots of options. Maybe hyperfuse? Let's try these. This is actually the Royal Clutch H81, and it's got their own prelude sky cyan switches. It's got double shot PVD keycaps. I think this is a polycarb plate, and it's gasket mount, so it's pretty nice keyboard to start with. But I'm not gonna use any of these switches, they're a little bit loud. In fact, they are quite loud, although less loud than his keyboard. Alright, we're good. Oh yeah. Let's get this keyboard taken apart. And just like that, it pops out. It's tape modded from last time, forgot about that. So far the switches are off. It already has this spongy stuff right here for the space bar, so the sound damping is actually quite nice. The stabilizers are pretty nicely lubed, so there's not much that I need to do to this thing. I might have to pry it open, and hopefully the screws aren't beneath the feet, because that's the worst thing that could possibly happen ever. Now for the PCB, let's get rid of the tape mod that we did a while back. So now we need to take out all the switches and take apart the plate so we can install these bad boys. Got my fancy keycap puller, or switch puller, sorry. Got a stuck switch in here. That is not what you want to see. This is going to require a little bit of effort to get out, but I'll figure it out. I'm just unscrewing all the stabilizers, so these little gold screws here, all these need to come out. is a screw. It's worse than I imagined. I saw one screw, so I think they all have screws under them. Probably the worst thing because that means I have to take off the feet and then hopefully put them back on somehow. And that's a tough thing to do. I'm gonna have jank feet when I'm done with this. Oops. And four. Come on. Thank the Lord. So we've got one layer of silicone here and a layer of silicone between the PCB and plate and that looks pretty good. Glad I don't have to put anything inside this case. It's pretty good. I got tape. I got some foam adhesive for the space bar. I even stole some of this stuff from another keyboard. I've got a sheet of PE foam, different stuff that I could try and smash into the case. keyboard is taken apart but we're only going to keep the PCB and the stabilizers. This is going in the trash, this is going in the trash, all the switches are going away, all the keycaps are going away. I have a brand new plate. 
so this one's a lot more flexible, which will be great. This PE foam is going to be so much better, much higher quality material. We also have a new PE foam coming in. Overall, this is going to be a huge, huge upgrade from all of the basic parts that come with the V2. Let's go ahead and move all this stuff to the trash. We'll get ready with our new build. fully taken apart right now but I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out. What are you doing? You see that down there? That's Trash. the old keyboard. And that's the new keyboard? Yeah, it's gonna be so much quieter than yours actually. PE foam, but it's so much stiff. Yeah, this stiffer. isn't, that's way better. Ooh, ooh, this is like actual pour run. Ooh, spongy. You compare them. This one's just like stiff. This is the new plate too. New plate? What? It's so fluffy. All it took was lots of money. Hey, you never say what food you wanted. Ramen. I like that too, but Thai food is better. The base kit is pretty much complete. All I did was add some extra foam on the bottom and then I added a single layer of tape down there. Not much. The keyboard is good. I'm just ready to replace the switches and put in my new keycaps. I'm going to be keeping these just because they're sort of nice <laughs> with these keycaps. This thing is going to become quiet right now. The switches I picked today are Connect Labs Gecko switches. They are silent linears and they're actually supposed to feel pretty satisfying. Look at that switch. It's so pretty. Pre-lubed, a silent linear and not too mushy feeling. All right, this is the PE phone from Keyboard Customs. Let's go ahead and get this installed. I'll have to cut off the corner here for the uh, the knob. So let's go ahead and do that. Snip, snip, boom. Now for the fancy plate foam. That's looking really good. The new plate, it's palm. Look how flexible that is. So much flexible, more flexible than aluminum. These gold standoffs here with the palm plate, they go into the foam. Like so. Plate goes on. And then it gets screwed in like this. All right, the plate is installed. It was very difficult, but it is done. Let's get these stabilizers screwed back in. Now for the switches. These are the WS Tactile X60s. These are silent, so they would be way quieter than these nasty red switches over here. Here's a quick comparison. The silent switch. You can barely hear it. So Jake's build is actually pretty cool, which means I'm actually really excited to see it, but it also means I might lose as long as he ends up with a quiet keyboard and uses it, and then I can sleep at night. So either way, I'm the actual winner here, even if I don't get to pick the food. Silent. Now for these switches because hippos are the most silent creatures that I have ever seen. I mean, when I go to the zoo, they don't make any sounds at all. No sounds. But that may be because hippos at the zoo are sleeping and just bored. Tell me, do hippos actually make sounds? In my mind, hippos are quiet. So that's why we picked hippo keycaps for this. Silent, yes. Oh, this is silent. Hippo butts. Oh yeah. Okay, that is pretty much everything. The space bar is a little loud, so I'm gonna see if I can do something about that. Other than that, sounds pretty good. All right, the switches are in, and I gotta say, they look pretty good with this plate. I mean, that just looks beautiful. Mm. Back in the case we go. We'll go back in the case. Please, dear Lord, go back in the case. It's not going back in the case. I think I know why. These little nuts that I put on here. So let's go ahead and take those off. Apparently those are not what we need. Okay, there's just an issue with one of the standoffs here, so I think if I just cut the standoff, we should be fine. These two both have to go. So with the flush cutters, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it. Now it goes back in. 
And we're finally okay. Time for the case. I'll be using these little foam adhesives and putting inside here in those little crevices and that will make it better. Ta-da! Foam all up inside it and it should be able to close as well. All right, so as a comparison, we went from this to this. Huge difference. So in all my curiosity, I was comparing this new keyboard to my knees. And this new one is quieter. What? The factory pre-lube actually really, really, really makes a difference. It's so satisfying. It's not super mushy either. I love it. I'm done. He's almost done. I don't know if I can win. To be honest, this is a hard one. The keyboard that I picked definitely had its ups and downs. I really like the way that it types and that it feels, but in terms of quiet, maybe it might not win. Last step is the keycaps. Betty's gonna help me out because she's been done for a while now, so hopefully we'll be done soon. If you compare the old keycaps, this one right here, it's much higher. I think it'll make a lot more noise with the older keycaps. These newer ones are much shorter and I think it'll just make it sound a lot better and a lot quieter. So that's the reasoning behind it. Here's a side by side. This is Keychron's profile and then this is DCX, which is sort of like Chariot profile. So a lot shorter. Mine's so quiet. Mine is quieter. I did some pretty intense stuff, so I think you'll like it. I didn't, and that's the problem. I you got the hippos? Let me see this. Yours looks more custom, though. It looks really good. If I spray painted the whole case white, it would look even better. But this is nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's really quiet, too. Whoa. Oh, that's so quiet. Is, is it mine? quieter than yours? That's pretty quiet, That's too. pretty quiet. Here, let's do it side by side. They both are quiet but they sound different. Yeah. Your stabs are quieter though. My space bar is loud though. Hmm. Yeah, mine has like a really sharp clack to it. Thump, thump. Clack, clack. I would say based off of sound, it's a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. But based off of looks, I think I prefer mine. This looks better. This one also is really nice too, so it's it's hard. Cause I like, I like hippos. I like hippos too, cause they're silent creatures. Well, I really want Korean food. So let's say, let's say I win. Okay, I want Korean too. It's so <laughs> good. Sound test. You decide. Tell us who actually won because we can't decide. Comment. Please comment. Please. Please. For sake.